We all know about Kyrie Irving's controversial move to the Boston Celtics, completely separating himself from LeBron James and the Cavs. But what would happen if the two switched places? Meaning LeBron would be the one joining the Celtics to play with Jason Tatum, leaving Kyrie alone in Cleveland. With three titles under his belt at this point, you have to wonder if LeBron can add to that total in Boston. Because right off the bat, there are some really good signs as he'd average his usual 28 and 9. And with the help of rookie Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, the Celtics will win 56 games to finish as a second seed, bringing us to his first playoff run with his new team, which wound up being harder than expected. Because LeBron's first opponent in the playoffs would be the seven seeded Bucks featuring Giannis. And while he doesn't have an MVP yet, he'd still be pushing LeBron to his limit right away to eventually force game seven. And while LeBron would eventually lead the Celtics to a win in that game seven, you have to be at least a little concerned that it took that much effort. Because while he would lead the teams to wins against Orlando and New York in the following rounds to make it to the finals, he'd be up against a very familiar opponent out in Golden State. If he's struggling to make it out the East, how is he going to fare against possibly the best team ever? As the four future Hall of Famers on the other side would dominate just as they did while LeBron was in Cleveland. And while Jason and Jalen have shown extreme promise at times, the lights might be too bright. As while LeBron's playing well, he once again doesn't have enough help, falling down 3-1 in the series. Hyped him up for no reason, apparently. And while a 3-1 lead is familiar territory, he's missing a certain someone who could help him in this situation. Because while he would steal a game in the process, he would ultimately flop in game 6, as the Warriors' stars are just too much. They would hold a lead until the late stages of the game, and after one last exclamation point from Steph Curry, why did he even shoot it? Why, what was the point of doing that? LeBron would ultimately be sent home, falling short in the finals just as he did in real life with a totally different team, making his finals record 3-6. and six. It's definitely not an ideal start by any means, and to top it all off, he doesn't have that much time. Because he's not just replacing Kyrie's spot on the Celtics, he's replacing his spot in history. As he'll eventually be joining the Nets to play with KD and the Mavs with Luka once his stint in Boston is over. But don't forget about Kyrie because he'd be making some moves for himself out west. Before we see how that turns out though, the Celtics would be bouncing back from their finals loss by dominating their way to the number one seed. Of course, it's mostly led by LeBron, but the true deciding factor is that the supporting cast is way better. Mostly because of the development of JB and JT which is actually really good timing since it's LeBron's last season with Boston. Kyrie only played two of the team in real life, and LeBron's doing the exact same, which means it's time for his final playoff run before his departure. But while last year was a struggle to make it out the East, this time it would be much easier, as he'd ironically be taking care of Brooklyn, Toronto, and Indiana to make it back to the finals, where he'd be up against the Warriors again. But while last year was a complete disaster, this time LeBron's actually putting up a fight, legitimately giving him the chance to bring a title to Boston. He's averaging close to a triple-double, and with the help of his supporting cast, especially Tatum, the Celtics would ultimately and shockingly take control of the series with a 3-2 lead, now making LeBron one win away from championship number four. But with the team on the other side being this good, it's extremely clear that it's not over yet. Cause on the road, the Warriors would play with a serious sense of urgency, forcing Game 7 to keep their season alive. Which means LeBron will be heading back to the Bay for one decisive game, which will also be his final wearing the Boston green. Will he be leaving on a high note? Or will he be hated by Celtic fans come next season, similar to Kyrie in real life? All those questions are about to be answered as Game 7 would tip off. But unlike last game, nobody's really pulling away. Each team brings something different to the table, but of course are led by their respective stores. Which is only fitting considering it would come down to the final 30 seconds of the game with the Celtics down 3. For better or for worse, LeBron's legacy is about to change dramatically. Pass over to Iguodala. Oh my god. Oh my god, he missed it. Oh my god, board, board, board. You are still alive, Boston. You are still alive. Somebody, bro, pass it to LeBron. Pass it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, LeBron's crazy. Oh my god, LeBron choked. Oh, oh my god. And with that disaster, LeBron's losing in the finals for a second straight time, now making his record 3-7. and seven. And while the Celtics team as a whole will bounce back from this, led of course by the duo of Jason and Jalen, LeBron's not going to be on their side and might even be on the receiving end, because he's leaving just as Kyrie did to Brooklyn. Pairing up with a man who just beat him multiple times, that being Kevin Durant. 
He won't be playing there forever though, cause in a few seasons he'll be joining Luka in Dallas, but for now him and KD might simply be the best duo ever. Cause the two wouldn't struggle to find chemistry at all and would be dominating their way to 68 wins, storming through the playoffs, including sweeping Boston to head back to the finals. And while they'd be up against PG and Kawhi out in LA, two players known for defense, it ultimately didn't matter, as LeBron and KD would keep up where they left off, defeating them in five to win LeBron's fourth title. It took him a little while, but he's benefiting greatly by following Kyrie's career path, and his good fortune isn't ending here. Because in the following season, the Nets would add James Harden to the squad, making it possibly the best trio the league has ever seen. LeBron's gone from losing over and over in the finals to now leading one of the most iconic super teams in league history. And while he does have his fair share of haters, it probably doesn't matter that much. Because with three MVP caliber players, the regular season is too easy despite none of them bringing home the award. The person who did though would be someone very familiar while also being a major surprise. That is not the person I expected to see right now. And let's not forget, AD's playing with Kyrie who's as good as ever. It's kind of been quiet for him so far, but he's making some serious noise in the playoffs. But before we find out what that exactly means, let's check in on Brooklyn who's not only winning 69 games but sweeping through every playoff team to make it to the finals in what's almost certainly some kind of record. LeBron's moving fast towards championship number 5, and he might be leading the greatest team ever. But waiting for him as his final opponent would be the man he betrayed, Kyrie Irving. He would not only be putting up a fight, but also leading the Lakers to a 2-2 split to start off the finals, being the only team to even take a game against the Nets. LeBron loses to the man he basically abandoned in Cleveland, it'll be a rough scene. Kyrie knows it too, cause despite being the underdog, he'd give himself a legitimate chance to take game 5 as well, and when you combine that with the help of AD, they might be going up in the series, cause while they would ultimately be down 2 points, he would have the ball entering the final possession of the game. If he hits this shot, he might be getting his long awaited revenge on LeBron. Alright, here we go, game 5, probably the most important game of the series. They pass it into Kyrie, being guarded by Joe Harris. That should be interesting. That's definitely with the season on the line. That's definitely who I want on a future Hall of Famer. Here we go. The screen from Andre Drummond. Kyrie, oh my God, bro. What? <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to find a worse possession than last one. But most importantly, while the series isn't over yet, it's pretty damn close. Cause that last possession would give LeBron, KD, and of course Harden all the momentum they needed to close out the series in front of their home fans in the following game. Which means LeBron now has five championships, KD has four, and Harden has his first. Shout out to Kyrie who put up the best fight by far out of anyone. But even then, against this super team, it's just not going to be enough. With a team this good, you can only expect for them to run it back and win titles over and over. But that's not happening. Cause Harden shockingly would still be leaving the Nets to pursue his other passions out in Philly, leaving the team with Ben Simmons. And while it's 100% not only his fault, the Nets would lose 12 more games in last season, which is a major drop off. And to top it all off, LeBron's losing to his former running mate, that being Jason Tatum who's entered his prime. Losing is fine, but swept is crazy. Now making LeBron only two seasons away from the cutoff, he does have more titles than he has in real life, but we have to see if he can finish with six or more. And for the 2023 season, he might be doing it in a different place, as he's taking his talents to Dallas just as Kyrie did in real life. He of course is pairing up with Luka, a similar ball dominant type of player which allowed for LeBron to take on a new role, cause while of course he would have his fair share of iconic moments, LeBron James is shot in history! He's entering his age 38 season, which means Luka would be the one carrying most of the load. We'll get into LeBron's stats shortly, but Luka would surprisingly be the one standing out, averaging close to a triple-double to win his first MVP. And with a season this eventful, it's only fitting that they would be up against the Lakers with Kyrie and AD in the playoffs. Obviously, we know LeBron had the best of him out in Brooklyn, but Kyrie's quest for revenge isn't over yet, because he would take all of LeBron's punches and eventually force Game 7, which he would take complete control of on the road, securing a late lead entering the final stages of the game. And with the help of Anthony Davis, they throw it down to AD. Yup, AD's gonna be the one to eliminate LeBron too. He would finally be getting back at LeBron, eliminating him in seven games. And while it seems like it's not a huge deal for LeBron, he's now entering his final season before the cutoff. If he wants to tie up Jordan six titles, it has to be now. However, he still has the help of Luka, who despite winning MVP last year, is somehow miraculously hitting another level, as he would average a triple-double to win the award back to back. 
He averaged a triple-double and has two MVPs playing with LeBron. But don't forget about Bron, because despite supposedly taking a backseat, he's actually not far behind Luka with averages of 29 and 10. Helping the Mavs defeat Memphis with Ja, the Lakers with Kyrie, and the Clippers with PG and Kawhi just as he did earlier to make it back to the finals where his final challenge will be the team he left Cleveland for, that being the Boston Celtics. He's had a very successful career to this point, but you gotta wonder, what would have happened if he stuck with the young players over there, since they've officially started to peak? There might even be an alternate reality out there where LeBron stays with the team and has more chips than he does now. But that question is ultimately going unanswered. Because while they are very good, it's a battle of the duos, which means Dallas easily has the edge. As LeBron and Luka would take turns dicing off the Celtics defense on their way to a 3-2 lead. And in the final moments of Game 6, it would be LeBron heading to the line with a chance to secure the title. And if he makes this one, it's pretty much over. There it is. Now giving the Mavs a 4-point lead with 17 seconds left. LeBron is now one stop away from yet another title. He's about to pull up from three. Nope, he goes between the legs. He throws it off of LeBron's face, and that's going to be it. And with that, LeBron's winning title number six. And while he's not winning the finals MVP with it going to Luka instead, you can definitely conclude that he's benefited from following Kyrie's career path, showing us what could have happened if he betrayed Kyrie instead. But what if we flip the script on another iconic NBA duo? With Russell Westbrook now making the league-altering move to Golden State instead of Kevin Durant, who's completely alone in OKC, how different will NBA history look? To find out the answer to that question, click the video on the screen.